So this video is primarily about having a broad perspective on what you're doing, whatever that is. So part of mindfulness is to pay attention, to be engaged, to be wholly attentive, to be in the process, to be feeling what's happening, communicating, listening, feeling what's happening in your body, your mood, your emotions, your thoughts, all of that engaged with what you're doing. Part of what can be behind that is that you actually think that's a good idea, that you feel that what you're doing is worth doing, that it matters to you. And this can apply as much to projects and tasks as to just sitting quietly having a relaxing time doing some kind of leisure activity, that each one of those has its own value and matters to you. So, for example, uh, starting with the more kind of relaxing leisure time, uh, part of mindfulness is just not having anything particular to do, no particular task, but just taking in what is happening. Just engaging more and more, more and more sensitively with what's happening. So what that means is that you're starting to get a perspective that not doing is also important. <laughs> that just relaxing, settling, letting things occur to you have their own value to you. On the other hand, to call it that, uh, is things that you do, things that are important to you that you need to do or you have a duty to do uh, and that you want to do. And so you have a perspective that doing this thing might be, it might be a big thing or a small thing, but it, it, it's of value in the bigger picture. So uh, an aspect of that is when you need to do some menial task or tedious or boring uh, task. And really, in a way, you don't want to be wholly present or even you don't want to be here at all doing it. But part of the mindfulness approach is to get the bigger picture, to get the sense of its importance and its value in the bigger scheme of things. So you might be writing uh, a letter which you don't want to do or is tedious or you might be doing some action that you don't want to do say for example at work but you get the bigger picture that this matters to the whole project it matters to the functioning of the team the department and the EBRD and you get the sense of the whole thing and that gives you a sense of perspective that well if you value the whole project <laughs> the bigger project, then in a way you value, you put value on the small tasks. So this allows you to have a sense of, well, this matters. I don't like doing it, it's, not, it's odious or it's tedious, but it matters. So in that way, you can start to bring yourself completely uh, into the experience of doing it. And then in a way, what can have been done many, many times before starts to be interesting. Uh, when you've done something before, you might have been partially absent, not really experienced the task. But when you start to be more present and engaged, all kinds of uh, feelings, sensations in the body, uh, your own feelings about the work, start to emerge that you hadn't noticed before and it starts to get interesting. So this sort of what else is here? How do I tighten when I do this? How, what relaxes me in this? You know, how can I open more to this? You know, how can I engage more in this conversation about something I'm not interested in? Uh, really. Uh, so it becomes interesting to find, well, what would help here? And that curiosity and sense of exploration and interest brings energy into the whole process of being more vividly engaged in what you're doing.